Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, in this video, we're gonna go through my, not quite sure what to call it, my photo memory journaling or just photo memories. Um, this is a tote that I showed in a previous video and this is what I started using this for. It was my room to room tote and it just got too big because I, it was just too much room. And so I, I repurposed it for this project. I love it. Now I'm somebody that likes stuff really contained. So if it's all right here and this is what I use for this particular project, I'm more apt to reach and do these types of projects than I am if I have to start digging. Um, so right now I'm holding the camera. Let's get you in the tripod and then we're just going to, let's see if I can do it like this. Yeah, it's a little higher than normal, but I think that's okay. All right, so th this tote has a divider that you can take out. I have reading glasses, which I keep pretty much close to me all the time. This is the Passport TN that I, per that I um, purchased after I made one. And I'm not sure that I would need such a wide one with such a wide spine because I only work in one insert at a time. But um, so, again, has a little too much, but it was $25 on Amazon. And so I certainly didn't overspend. Um, and we're going to go do a flip through of the few um, pages that I have finished already. Uh, so I'm excited to show you guys. So then this section is stickers. These are stamps, these are washi, and then this is my Canon IV. So I'm gonna pull this out. This is a Delphonics, I think a, well, it's an extra small. Let's see if we can, it's an extra small. I got it off Amazon Japan because I wanted the pink one. And I don't like Delphonics anymore because I don't like all the pockets on the outside. Now, Delphonics, though, they do serve their purpose, and I do have the other two sizes close to me. And if you were going to sit it on a counter like that, and that's how you kept it, and then all your markers and stuff were sticking out, then, hey, they're great because they are um, they do have a lot of storage. But for me, I always put stuff in stuff. <laughs> Absolutely been doing that. So the Canon Ivy, um, my packs that I buy, and then inside this pocket is the charger, and I've just kept this in here for almost two years, and I like it. It's a good fit. So that is what's in there. And then in my Lindock pouch, I have a washi tape. I wanted to keep the washi options um, more minimal for me. So this is just a bunch of grid washi tape that I got on Amazon.com. I will link it below. Um, it's just a bunch of colors, and I just stuck it in this pouch. And Lindock pouches are great, and... Um, you know, but you don't even need a fancy. I'm trying to use what I have, even though I've been buying a couple of new pouches. Um, I keep saying that and I'm like, mm-hmm. All right, so then this is my Canvas Superior Labor and this is medium size. And here I keep all of my stamps. I'm not gonna go over them because I've gotten them over the years. And Okay, so I mean, you can see, I love this. I think this would be a beautiful tattoo. So you can see I've got lots of different stamps in here. I haven't even gone through my stamps that I have in a box in the closet, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I don't go digging for stuff somewhere else. I just use this. So in this other section here, I'm just going to pull everything out. And we'll show you what I've got. I have my handmade papers that I got for Do Not Microwave Crafts. And I've been I've been using them. They're beautiful paper. And then she's also the shop that has the stencils. Okay, we can go more tabletop now where I'm more used to the position. Um, okay, I'm gonna grab my reading glasses and um, she's got some beautiful handmade papers. 
So what I've done is, again, trying to keep my choices minimal. If I, if I kept to all of my supplies, I would, I would lose it and then I wouldn't do it. So um, I have some Tim Holtz, Small Talk, Big Chat, and then some Diane um, Reevely, the from Dilutions. This is all from Ranger. Um, just some words. And I think I have more words somewhere else. So I have, I have word options, okay? Then I have a little necessity pouch and in here, and see, I had these, I got these from Amazon. They're about a V6 size. I will dig up my history um, and, uh, and link them below from Amazon because they are super, super nice. And they come in like a pack of 10 or something. And it's a great way to keep your stickers. I uh, Do I have... Yeah, so I have like my mini stickers in, in one of these. I found a lot of these pouches when I was cleaning out my planner room. I've got my vinyls and then I just use my label maker. So um, they are a really, really good option for storage. What I like is they're not the long skinny ones, which are good because they fit the tombos, but these are more, well, let's measure them. Wasn't planning on doing that. Um, all right, so I think they're a B6 size, like a, so seven and a half by five and a quarter. Now they won't fit your cover, obviously, but they're about generally the same size. All right, so now where was I? Okay, so I have a Klenna. I have a Uniball Vision Fine, which is a waterproof fade proof. So again, you can see I don't have a bunch of stuff in here. I've got a mono adhesive. A tweezers, a little mini, and I got this in the cosmetic section at, at TJ Maxx, and so it's just a stainless steel sharp scissors. And then I, I finally splurged and bought one of these a while ago, and <laughs> I thought, oh no, I don't need one of those. Oh yeah, they're awesome and worth the money, absolutely. So you can see that I keep this pretty minimal. Um, this was a Q-tip holder. I've got some clear stickers, some PET tape samples, and that Sarah sent me. This is how I contain all of the, what I'm gonna call mess or chaos. And those are two negative words. I don't mean them to be negative. I'm talking like if I don't have it contained like that, I, I don't even reach for the project. Okay, in this one I have one of those gum, and I actually have a full one. One of the gum containers you can get um, wherever this gum is sold. Um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, and it was expensive. It was like four something. But it holds my mini um, photos in two, two stacks like that. And so I go through my phone, and I just print out uh, photos, and I'm like, oh, that's cute. I did Cooper with the wide-angle lens. <laughs> oh my gosh, I laughed so hard. And then here's Moose running in the snow. See, I could go on and on, you guys. Oh my gosh, is that little man. He's such a gooser. That's his nickname, Mooser Gooser. That's me. But these both, uh, so this fits like that. And then I'm good. Kita, am I going to say that right? I got this from Jet Pens. It's a holder with all of the Kitas. Again, I'm not a collector. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to have what I need to be creative. I'm searching for my words because I don't care if you're a collector because, dude, I collect pouches and pens and all the things. But I um, absolutely love these little strips. And I found that when they're in this little container, they're easier to use. And I actually have a new one on its way. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I guess I'll put it in this little slot here. So is this how it goes? Yeah, this is how it goes. And then you, they're like little matchbook strips. And then you open them up. I don't know why they're upside down. It's operator error, I'm sure. But, you know, who cares? I just flip it like this. And you can see. Yeah, I love them. So this slips in here right next to this. wonder if this would. Yep, so that would work too. I think I'm going to keep it like that. And then I'll find, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take two of these out and have two of those on hand and then just store the rest 
probably in the post-it drawer. And that way I've got them safe, but I'm not bulking up this, um, this project. I think I will wait and put those in this. So this I got from Jet Pens. It's a jam studio. And ugh, this one I love so much. I love this sticker storage. And I just painted my nails. So if I look like I'm being delicate, it is, that's what I'm doing. So I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're like little strips with words. Um, a stencil from Katie's studio. She changed her name. And what I did was when I was setting this up a couple of months ago, I just went through all of my stickers and anything that I thought was flower generic or that I could layer, I stuck in here. So deco from random shops, Sterling Inc. I have a code for her. If you want to save 20%, she does have some beautiful stickers. I like her transparent stickers most of all. Um, Pookie Bear Cuties, again, have a code. So like a lot of the, the deco from those shops. Hobby Lobby. These were, I think, from the sub box a while ago. All right, and somebody sent me these. They're beautiful, and I don't want to get the name wrong because I have so many thank you cards that I have to get on their way. But I just put in all of my Pookie Bear Cutie deco. And that way, it's not hiding in a sticker book somewhere. It's right here for me to flip through when I'm being creative. Um, Stalogy dots. Uh, I think I got those at Yoseka. And then this comes with, this book comes with reusable sticker paper. But I just, I just left them in the um, sleeves. And I probably, hang on, I'm not doing very good protecting my nails. Hold on. I haven't painted my nails with real polish and like, in like five years. All right, so let me, um, you know what, let's keep flipping and then I'll show you the different. So again, Stalogy Dots. So these are really, really super good for layering. And then Rachel sent me these from Happy Sherpa Papery. They're just boxes that I've been using. Then I, I found cleaning out my my mess. I found lots of little sheets of cardstock, and since I'm using passports TN size, I just popped them in here, and I've been using them. And again, more, more miscellaneous stuff. The journal station, and so, um, and then the back sleeve has this pocket that runs along there, and then this back pocket where you can decorate the cover or use it for storage. So let's go over the different pockets. So you've got the same situation here. You can decorate the cover or you can use it for storage. Then a secretarial pocket, and then these fit the quarter sheets from sticker shops. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. So you've got 24, and you guys, these are these are um, not double-sided where they have to share space. They're single-sided, but you get pockets on either side. I'm gonna take that out for the sake of time. So um, yeah, I hope that makes sense. Like they're sealed where this has a pocket and this has a pocket and they don't share. Okay, so then you have these where that runs the whole, um, the whole length of the book. So you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, twelve sleeves for that, and then the zipper sleeve, and then the back sleeve. So this, I think this was, oh gosh, I can't even remember what I paid for it. I it's on Jet Pens. I will link this exact item. Um, and then you can shop around Jet Pens. I don't have a code for them. Man, wouldn't that be amazing if they could sponsor one of my videos someday? But <laughs> my little itty bitty channel, that ain't happening. Okay, so um, let's see. All right, so now we're at the fun part. So this has been so much fun. And okay, these are my new stencils. These are photographs that I have to get like throw away because I decided, nah, I'm not gonna. I just put some random stuff in. Oh no, it's not random. This is from uh, Do Not Microwave Crafts. This is a really good example of how small her stencils are. And um, so I decided to tuck them in there, but I actually am gonna put them in the, um, the sticker jam studio. All right, so I've got, 
I buy um, the inserts from Amazon and I will link those below. And so I've got four inserts in here. Like I said, this is this cover's too big. I may make a single cover again just for myself. And um, I don't know. I made a couple of things, you guys, and I, I'm pooped. I'm pooped. My hands are pooped. So, all right, so let's get, let's pull this out, and then we'll show you what I've been doing. I need to, um, what I also need to do is I also need to decorate the covers, but we'll see. All right, so I'm showing you this video before I write personal things in here because you guys know how private I am and how I I cherish my privacy. It's it's um, super important to me, and I enjoy my channel, and I enjoy um, hanging out with you guys and providing videos for you to watch, and hopefully you get inspired by things that I come up with. I know I'm watching a lot of videos lately and I'm so inspired by you guys out there who have channels. Um, but uh, so I, there's nothing in here that I can't share with you. I have adult children and they know that I share their picture and I share their first name. But after that, you know, um, so let's get started. I know that you guys totally understand that. So I get to share my, my pets with you guys. So this is... This is Mochi, and he's my cat that I've had for a year this coming November. And then there are my um, three well, three of the five grandchildren. There's two cats. They never seem to get any airtime. Um, but uh, this is Moose, this is Coda, and that is Nixie. And they're just precious. So what I do is I just decide on the picture, and then I start layering. And I just, you guys, I'm not fancy about it. This is a stamp I have. Uh, kitty sticker and I just I just start layering and then I um and I stamp now one of the things that I wanted to do I'm gonna grab that because we're gonna try that on these two is I wanted to take the edge of my ink stamp and just kind of add some add some color now I don't know like listen this isn't precious I don't know what's gonna happen but, you know, I used to art journal and I used to manage a scrapbooking store and I used to art journal. I'm going to say used to you guys because I put it all away and I don't feel compelled to get it back out. Um, but this is a nice way to kind of soften a page. And let's see, we'll see what happens. It's subtle, you guys, but... See how that kind of took away the harshness of the white? I like it. So then here I'll just write mochi, maybe his gotcha day, and then, um, yeah. This is where he sits, and I'm in my recliner, and he stares at me, and I feel judged. <laughs> what I should do is I feel, what I should do is feel worshipped, because <laughs> I think that's what he's doing. So, And this is, uh, Becca took the first family photo there. <laughs> And they they had she had a difficult time with them uh, cooperating. Okay, so this is my daughter, and um, this is her on a beach, and this is her taking a selfie, and I just love it because I miss her. She moved away far away, and I miss her terribly. There is Cooper again. He's staring at me. I don't know. Um, Mary says I create needy pets, but and this picture I treasure because this is us on a walk and I saw this leaf with the dew on it and he stepped on it and it was just kismic because I just took a picture right then and there and I just adore that photo. Um, so these are just stickers from sticker shops, uh, happy planner stickers, stamps. You guys, I'm not complicating it and when I feel done on the page, I feel done. Um, I wish it would, I wish it could look a little bit more special and more fun. I'm truly not that creative, I don't think, but anyways, um, okay, so this is a FaceTime with my kids. Uh, the three of us were FaceTiming, and we always laugh and have a good time, and oh my gosh, since I was, oh, since I, since Olivia was like two, she's fussed with my hair, and this was the last time she came back in May, um, and she was fussing with my, and we were laughing so hard. And there's a next picture. We were laughing so hard. And she used to, so I would sit on, 
on my stomach on the bed and watch TV and she would sit on the small of my back. Now remember when she was two, it was no big deal. And then she'd put clips in my hair. I still have photos of that. And she'd put, I'd have like a hundred clips in my hair and I had really short hair then. And so it was so funny. And so she still does that even as an adult. Okay, the camera cut out. I don't know where. I was almost done and looked up and nothing was recording. Grr. Okay, so this is Moose. So I'm going to try to do it again. This is Moose and Coda. And then there's my son and myself on Mother's Day. And he took me to this amazing dinner. And then here's Olivia. I can't remember if I told you. She taught me how to use the wide lens. Oh my gosh, we laughed so hard. This is the most unattractive photo of myself. But... <laughs> I find it hilarious, and that's the why I started doing it with Cooper, um, and it just makes me laugh, and I just thought, yep, let's put it in the book. My son and his fiance on their cruise, and my daughter and her, her boyfriend, I was going to say girlfriend, and he is not a girl. Uh, so, okay, so uh, this is the three of us when... Um, I became an empty nester. He finished his last year at college. He was already way moved out. He couldn't wait to get out of my house. <laughs> and then she headed off to school and she's in a totally different place of the country now. But um, I had my friend Ashley do family photos and she's very, very talented. This is the handmade paper. It is beautiful and makes a great backing. I love it. I should have gotten some square pieces, but eh, next time. Okay, I found this in my travels of cleaning my planner room, and this was an old photograph. Olivia was about 14. I was not 14, and oh my gosh, she got the same haircut as me, and we just, we laughed, and we would walk around town, and people were like, oh my god, you guys look alike, and I'm like, yeah. I call her the before picture and me the after. <laughs> But I wanted to put that in there. And so then I thought, well, why not put something in there years later? And um, this was us this last spring. And we always take a bunch of selfies when we're together. I love this stamp. I, I can't remember. Let me see if I can tell you guys. Did I get it at Hobby Lobby? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Flower face. And I like it because you can stamp it and then add flowers as the hair. It's I, I don't know. I've always loved stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's see. <clears throat> this is Ode to My Daughter here. And this is a photograph that she sent me of her bike up in the mountains. And, you know, that girl, she has been an adventuresome spirit ever since she was young. I feel kind of bad for her because she had to suffer through 18 years before she graduated, before she could get out of here. And she just couldn't wait to get, fly out of here. And she's just been living her best life, and it's been amazing. And so I just thought, I used my stencils here so you can see how small they are. This is a passport size. And I just picked out from my letter, from my word stickers from uh, Ranger Inc. I just picked out all the things that reminded me of her. I just thought that was really fun. And she also does a lot of camping, so I thought they kind of paired well together. So, you know, you don't have to have a photo. You could just do fun collages like this that mean something with maybe souvenirs or whatever. All right, so the last, so this was last, oh gosh, May of 21, and Grand Canyon, and this is my mom. And uh, we went to her pool, and then we did face masks. We had the best visit. And I was able to wear a suit for the first time in 20 years. And, oh, my gosh, I had the best time. So I put everything as beauty because I know I did not look like Giselle, but I didn't care. I found a suit that fit me. I'm down a bunch of weight and so it was the best time i had the best time i i fantasize about going back and hanging out in the pool and so um these are just stickers from happy planner and then this is me on my birthday uh last year so 2021 and i just stuck that next to that and yeah i don't i don't like this photo i feel like these are not shrinking as I lose weight and it's frustrating me, but it is what it is. I have my good health and um, I feel so much better about myself and I just move easier. Okay, so that's that's it. That is how I've been um, kind of hanging out with my stickers and my photos and kind of creating a really fun place to, 
to be creative. I love the passport size. I am carrying that in my purse. And um, I love how I have this all organized where it's all condensed. And let's see, do I wanna put this right here? I think so. I think so. All right, and so that's everything I've got. I'm not quite sure how to sign off. I I just love how it's all contained in that one pouch. And if I want to grab it and not sit in the planner room, I just want to sit in front of the football game or whatever, I can do that and just grab that tote. So that is what is helping me be creative. So I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm going to... Um, Let's see, what am I gonna link? I'm gonna link this, I'm gonna link these bags, and I'm gonna link the inserts because those are just super reasonable. And I'll tell you, I compared it to the Traveler's Com Company paper and the grid paper is just as nice, nice and you get a pack of three for like $7.99. Um, let's see what else. So I will link the inserts, the cover, and then um, the Canon Ivy. Yeah, that's about it. So I'll take care of all the links. Also, you know, YouTube, like I've said in a previous video, they're going through a lot of changes. So if you are watching the video and you see the description box and you see that word more and you don't see the links, that's what you have to press. You have to press the word more and then scroll up so that you can see everything. So I hope that's helpful. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody.